learning to read and write, learning how to cheat. I remember at school there were several, several. I distracted myself there. There are several memories I have from school. At least several. And therefore, they must be significant in some way. Learning to read. There's a series of books that we had to read. On finishing the book, we took it to the teacher. Stating we had finished the book, she then tested us on what we had read, not how we could read, on what we had read. I overheard her questions to someone who had just finished the book I was reading. The book was boring, I wasn't enjoying the stories. I had read other books and knew there were better stories than other books. I don't know how longer, how longer, how much longer. I don't know how long between hearing her questions to the other pupil and myself going, saying I had finished the book when I hadn't, though I knew the answer to the questions. How I did that, I'm not sure whether I went and read the stories, because there was loads of short stories in the book, or whether I had read the story already. There's another memory coming to mind there. So I took the book, finished reading this book teacher, got the questions, answered the questions because I knew the answers, not because I'd read the book but because I'd overheard the questions. There have been times over the years when I have thought about this, interestingly, so therefore I must have some guilt in there. forgive myself that I have allowed myself to define myself as guilt in the and got the next book I never did it again never needed to, I always enjoyed reading it was just that particular book was particularly boring We once had to write a, you might call it an essay, but we were, though we were only eight, nine years old, whatever they call them essays, when you're eight or nine, about germs. We had had a talk about germs, write about germs. I did not know how to spell it and I was spelling it Germans and after all the essays had been handed in and she had marked them, the teacher she mockingly read out my misspelling and we all laughed hilariously at the Germans. I wish I had the story actually, it must, might be interesting. The Germans are on the bottom of our shoes. If we do not wash our hands after we have touched our penises, we could spread germs to other people we touch or anything that we touch and then other people touch. The Germans, I can't remember, I'd be interested in reading that now actually. And we laughed. It was a great shock to discover that it was my essay that the whole class was laughing at.
don't remember don't remember feeling particularly embarrassed though it was I'll need the word shocked to for myself to deal with through self forgiveness I'll remember well, I suppose I'd better write it out and then define my defined accepting accepted personality thanks to Adele for uh, reminding me of this It's always interesting seeing people you've interacted with and not knowing what they look like. I thought I'd seen pictures of her previously somewhere, though I'm now wondering whether I did. Mm. I had no preconceptions. I only thought I had seen a picture, possibly on her icon. Her Channel, channel icon. Mm. Mm. I'm now a Leo, no longer a Virgo. That's going to be very interesting because uh, I did fit some of the Virgonian traits I could relate to enough of them to have me accept that there was something in it never to keep me on that I suppose I've got a reluctance to admit accept that I'm pre-programmed or programmed ever programmed by myself or by my parents DNA or Oh, I, my experience of programming is <laughs> well <coughs> the final analysis will be, will be very interesting if and when I ever reach it I will share it first sexual arousal experience you might call it at school climbing the rope we had ropes from the ceiling climbing the rope again age eight I noticed that my Penis, penis mentioned twice, three times now, Anthony, in this video. Interesting, possibly, probably. Don't know how you would term it. Sensation. That was only. present whilst climbing the rope friction from climbing the rope on my penis four times <coughs> reaches for coffee suggesting that all these things haven't been tested out but from my perspective I find that such things as Freud and any other philosophy 
is a limitation that can be surpassed. The thing with Freud is don't accept it. I don't accept it whilst I do accept that it is difficult to in fact it's impossible to disprove if you have, have ever had sex I found eventually after he chased me around the room don't know what he'd say about that I reached the conclusion that I could only disprove him if I had never had sex. Very interesting actually. Don't know anything about Freud, but to know about sex and how it could be applied as a mirror of my life in general. Thank you, I'm stopping it there because I lost two videos yesterday and I was interested in that video that I left unlisted but at first I assumed that because I couldn't remember anything that I'd spoken about it left nothing needing dealing with and then within short space of time I realised that wasn't so I left forgiveness flag it on the comments of it though what it did definitely do was diffuse any residual tension from the exercise let's call it that I participated in maybe I should have participated in it or not it's another matter ultimately I would never participate in such things as they as it as they as it and they in it well and then there are other perspectives never the never no less I am utilizing all that I experience as process thanks again